Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday, and welcome to A Ship With Us. Uh, I love these. We're doing A Ship With Us today because <laughs> A, using my work. <laughs> a, we have a ton of shipping to do, so it's kind of that whole thing of like, two birds, one stone situation. Mm -hmm. We have like $2,500 worth had, of sales to ship. We had a very good weekend. I think the stimmies, as they're called on the internet, are starting to roll in. Yeah. So people are starting to, you know, Buy some things for the spring and the summer. Yes. I'm excited. Also, it's literally a blizzard today. Like, actually. Like, it's not me over-exaggerating. Like, We're under... they canceled class today. Yeah. All my classes are on the internet now. So when we fell asleep, it was spring. Now... This is disgusting. So we went from falling asleep in spring to waking up back in the middle of winter. So we're not feeling super like energized to do like a really, really like thought provoking video. No, it's awful. Luckily it'll Luckily. hopefully <laughs> melt in like two days. I know, it's supposed to be 40 in the next couple days. So like, whew, God, we're letting this stuff melt. Yeah. But thank you everyone that joined us for the live on Saturday. We That's had so, so fun. much fun. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it. Also, for everyone or anyone, I've seen like two comments, so I'm not trying to shade a bunch of you. To but these for two people. For the two people that really don't like that we have two power outlets between us. Just for you, we got six we we now, got four more. We now have six of them. And also, um, we rent here, so even if we wanted to change it, we can't. Yeah, and there's not that many walls to film on, so sorry about that. It's just life. Okay. Also, for the one or two people that comment that like you're upset that you can't see like us shipping down here, we don't have like the setup. <laughs> to like okay. record our hands and what's going on and also like we'd rather talk with you and show you what we're shipping versus you just looking at boxes and versus mailers. you like looking at my knees now that we've addressed Thanks all the, the concerns <laughs> we'll get into shipping per usual we have everything set up we tried to put together a few boxes this time <laughs> to reduce tape to noise. reduce tape noises <laughs> and then we we do have some flat ones there's Ryan's my stuff. tj maxx bag because i'm not near as organized as jackie's <sighs> I also have our polys, we have the labels, which I write on, we have tissue paper, I've got some extra real real bags because I like to put shoes in that sometimes, and yes, we have a lint roller because there are some mic hairs on a few things. I haven't counted how many things I have to ship, but I have quite a lot. Like I said, I have like $1,500 worth of things to ship. <laughs> Here's my second one. And Ryan has $1,000. <laughs> I don't know how many labels this is, I'm not yes. gonna count. One of the sales in here though is my $500 Louis Vuitton backpack that was from Ooh. my own personal collection ah. that you may remember if you watched the live. So that's really what boosted this up a lot. I had a couple of pretty good $100 sales that I'm excited about. I was gonna say, maybe I'll start with that, but now I'm realizing I don't think I have a box out here big enough for it, because this is it. And yes, this sold for 500, so it's going to the Posh Authentic, Authenticate, Posh Authenticate, whatever. Mm -hmm. But ain't she pretty? I just didn't use it very much because I'm more of a mini backpack person and I'm not in school anymore, so I don't need one this big very often. Yeah, well, it's like, it's a school backpack, but it can't fit a laptop. Yeah, it can. I just feel really- Does it? Could it I fit a 15? Could it fit my big old- Yeah, backpack? I used hmm. to put my backpack in this when I was in college and I just got really nervous thinking that it was just gonna like rip through the bottom or something because like, yeah. she's an old backpack. She's a little fragile, but that's okay. I guess I'll put this on the side and see if I can find a box. We'll get enough. a box for her. Well, let's jump into shipping. So okay. what are you shipping first, Ryan? That's actually a good question. I am shipping. I think I'm gonna do my poly mailer okay. items first, sure. AKA like the normal clothing or pants or whatever, instead of like all the box stuff. So my shipping comes in two forms, the stuff that I had inventoried and the stuff that I did not. So I think I just start at the bottom because that's when I put my labels, I go to the, the oldest and then go up. So the first thing that I am shipping is number 115, this really cute Maeve anthropology floral dress and i am always really anal because i don't want anything to like leave this lovely little square that it, it gets fits really well in the when i put it in the ziploc bag so i'm always very careful with first this. off i'm shipping this plus size nike bodysuit i was really excited to find this because i'm all for having some cute plus size in my closet i wish i ran into it more often i know but yeah i found this and it was plus size so i was really excited because this is the kind of nike that i do like to sell is the stuff with the big logos and then with every single sale you get 
get a business card. And I just updated them. I made the font a little more easy to read. And I get mine from Walgreens. Because you can get... I get 600 of them. I buy everything in bulk. Shipping supplies, mailers, yeah. business cards. In, like, the biggest quantity I can. Because it makes them cheaper. And um, usually Walgreens has, like, a 50% off custom photo or, like, custom printing coupon yeah. somewhere. So I think all of my business cards... For 600 we're like less than $50. And with Walgreens, you can pick it up in two hours with business cards. It was amazing. First one down, the bodysuit. Okay, Ashley, I hope you enjoy your dress. Next up is a huge maxi dress from Free People, so I'm gonna take the Ryan route and not unfold <laughs> not this. Not unfold it, I do not Because it. I remember how hard this was to get this small. It's a white, new romantics, Free People. If you watch- Ooh, big bundle. If you watched the live slash what's sold Saturday, um, that, I showed it in that, so <laughs> it'd be easier to see in that versus here. Yes. Okay, so next up for me is a seven item bundle big bundle. First that's going in the bottom is this anthropology upside down. This anthropology leather trim red sweater bag. I found this in the bins and I am kind of upset because I couldn't find any information on it. But yeah, RN66170. And I know for a fact that Urban Outfitters isn't going to be selling any of this. No. Yeah, we like researched Urban and Anthro and Free People. Because, and I couldn't like, find a single thing on no it. No one had it, yeah. But I think so. one other person had like had it listed under anthro so we just were like oh it was like anthro and sure. i can definitely see anthro doing that more yeah it looks like some kind of winter some of the other for people bag. okay and then we have a pair of bdg cord corduroy <laughs> green pants along with two pairs of soft shorts these are anthropology eloise hey hey excuse me and then the other pair is are these new tag they are new tag raga i don't know why wherever i bought these they censored the tag censored instead tag? of like oh so i got these at a consignment store on clearance and they censored the tag like the rocket tag instead of the actual you could just cut it off you could just take the well okay and it's one of those tags that's put on that's like just loose so next up for me so is a grateful dead long sleeve t-shirt i sold it for like 25 and i was hoping to get more i had it listed for 45 and it had a lot of likes but no one had ever uh, oh look at him that's right i love time. him he reminds um, me of that frog <laughs> He sings. I had never got any offers at all. So even though it was only 25, I was like, well, I'll sell it. Let's get rid of it. As Ryan always says, get it out of my house. Four, five, six. What's the other one? The Grateful Dead t-shirt is going to California. Typical. So have fun. So this is a big bolo. And now I can actually show it to you because I have one sitting in front of me. So the brand is Ultra Core. Here we go. Ultra Core. I paid up for this thinking it would do really well. Unfortunately, this one just didn't hit the mark. You were holding it so far away. This brand does very well. Yes. There she is. So next up for me is a Free People Movement. If you've never seen their label, that's what it looks like. What am I missing? What is this? Cute little top that I got from a consignment store. And the model picture was super cute, but I could only find a blurry version of it, which was kind of disappointing. I hate- I forgot a purse. I hate when you can only find a model picture in blurry format. Not I my favorite. hate that. When it's like really cute on Pinterest, but it's like six pixels. So yesterday, Ryan and I spent the day planning out our upcoming YouTube videos. <laughs> I was gonna say, we didn't leave the house. <laughs> we're having a collaboration coming up. I will not tell you who with yet, even though I think I said it in the live. So if you want to figure that out, you can go watch the live. Mm -hmm. We have. I'm super excited. This person is very nice. They yes. are very, very knowledgeable yes. in this content field that we're going to be talking about. Also, yes. I'm really sorry. I don't know what the back of my hair is deciding to do today. And then we have all That's kinds funny. of fun videos coming up. We wanted to plan ahead because, like you guys know, we're moving in about a month and a half. Mm -hmm. And so we really wanted to get it, like, figured out so we know I what's know. going up when. Because we're also going to be apart for, like, a week and a half. Yeah. I have it, to be here and in Des Moines. Yeah. And Jack has to be in Minneapolis. So uh, it's yeah, a lot. There's so, a lot of things that we have to work around. So maybe I'll update the website with <gasps> the upcoming videos yes. because I feel like I haven't done that in a while. But that's always linked below if you want to go figure out what's upcoming to our know what we're doing when. We also were working on something that's coming very soon. We spent all day yesterday working yes, on it. Yes, we did. We're so excited about it. I'm not gonna say what it is yet, or even really hint at it, but just know something very fun and it's exciting. It's going to be coming. very fun. Yes. It should be coming out, I would assume, in the next two months as well. So It'll next, be like a summer moment. Yeah, the mm -hmm. next two months are pretty exciting. Okay, tape noise, I apologize. Next up is some Maybell jeans. 
I do not have the luck with Madewell jeans that it seems some people do. Some people will literally spend up on them. Oh, this is Janine's bundle. Janine. I packed it super cute for you. I hope you enjoy it. Some people will literally pay up for Madewell jeans. And even if I get them at like Good the thrift store and stuff, I'm not super pumped because mm. I just can't sell them very well. <laughs> Max, I'll ever pay for a pair of Madewell jeans now. Unless it was like new with tag, like I knew I could get $100 for them. I will pay $7. $6.99 is my max yeah but there are exceptions oh yeah and i actually also have one ebay sale here i have one Mercari sale here here and i have oh. one Tracy sale all mine are from poshmark because i have been a bad person when it comes to cross posting i have not done a single any of it here is my ebay sale it's already packed because i had to weigh it so i could ship it because ebay doesn't just send you a label you gotta make one yourself pair of levi's wedgie straight size 31 i always put the the business card in the back pocket because i think it's cute and i'd like to do it with men's jeans because i think they're like I, do that oh, I like sometimes have I it's fun. business cards i just don't like always have them so i all the time oh my ebay sale was a rag and bone cashmere sweater was it that striped one yes oh, Awesome. Next up is a Free People mini dress that I will show you. This is the kind of Free People that's very like hit or miss. This is the kind of thing that like I feel like Ryan can sell really well and for me it's like a hit or miss. Just these like Free People floral mini dresses. They're like usually super cute but I don't know I just mm -hmm. feel like they're kind of a dime a dozen. They're a little oversaturated so I just yeah. don't always do super well but this one sold for like 30 bucks I think. No this one sold for 38. And I found it Des Moines, which is shocking because I usually never find anything good in Des Moines. <laughs> well, look at how cute this is. Little tiered ruffle moment. She needs a steam, definitely. Didn't that have like a super cute model picture? It did. It did have a really cute model picture. But no, I love selling free people. I definitely think like you need to have that kind of vibe to sell it. Cause like here all the time, I think like- Danny, You need a vibe to yeah. sell that. I think you need to like, I don't know, I think- and if you can't sell it, you're just not vibing. You're just not vibing. You're just not vibing. Right. No, you're not on like, that right vibe. My, to sell free people. my thought, my theory is with any brand that has like a very curated aesthetic, you need to kind of like have that aesthetic personally to be able to sell that. So like I couldn't sell anything that's like minimalist because I'm not a minimalist. No. You know, like I can sell vintage stuff because I have the soul of a 90 year old man and I'm trying to buy antiques. You know what I mean? Next up, <laughs> I sold one of my berets. A big thing. I've been selling these things like hotcakes, which is pretty exciting. I've actually been finding them a lot, which is super really cute exciting. Ones. Anytime I find one, I pick it up. As long as it's like wool and like... If it's like a good material. Yeah. But and, like if it's like embellished, yes, like that yellow that's one. Added bonus. Oh, was yeah. that yellow one you found that one time wool or was that synthetic? That's a good question. Most of the ones mm -hmm. I picked up are wool, but I'm definitely not opposed to like getting synthetic blend ones. If they're cute. No, I definitely wouldn't either. And Andro oh. sells a lot of berets. Berets. I think free people which is I like. Too. I'm not into I like them. arbitraging that. And then um, vintage. If you find vintage berets. Sorry that I always say it like that. I just can't help it. It's myself. really fun. Okay, next up for me is a horse girl scarf. I love this. I found this in the, <laughs> yeah, that's it. The I found end. The, I found this in the bins. I, it took me, I because so we package things in scarves that we get at the bins just because it's cheap and it looks really cute yeah um but i got this one home and i was like oh my god they're horses <laughs> somebody is gonna want this some little lady that owns a ranch and sure enough is gonna want this and lo and behold she did uh this what, was for twenty dollars too what states it going to that's all guess i'm guessing like wyoming or like montana what do you guys think it's going Just to wisconsin Oh. W-I is Wisconsin, right? Yeah. Home, home on the rain. <laughs> That's Oklahoma. In Wisconsin, <laughs> where the horses play. Yeah, yeah. Where my favorite winery is. Yeah, Wisconsin does have a good winery. Oh right God. across the border. And they've been closed all winter. I know. So we, we can went finally go for, back was it Debbie's birthday? Debbie's yes. birthday is December 15th. And we were like, oh, it's going to be so great. We're going to go to the winery and just like have a cute little Yeah, because like, they have indoor moment. seating. So we're like, yes. oh, they're going to oh be God. open. It would be perfect. Yeah. And the people are so nice. One of the ladies that works there is from Brooklyn. And she has the thickest New York accent. And so we were like, oh, what's like, what do you get clocked on the most? And she said, garbage. <laughs> garbage she was so funny. funny but yeah so we went thinking like oh indoor seating <laughs> it's they have pre-bottled wine so it's okay if like the outdoors are snowy they don't need to keep growing grapes all year and they have a but they were patio. closed when we got they there closed for the season i bought a bottle because i'm like i didn't sit in the back of this car for the, for the half hour <laughs> to come home without my favorite bottle of wine so next up for me is a vintage sale that i'm pretty excited about i have heard that these were super popular and i kind of thought it was just for fall so i thought i was a little late to pick one up but i guess not because it sold and i was also told that it would probably sell on ebay but it's 
sold on Posh. And it is this Y2K vintage leather coat. It's kind of a trench style. It doesn't have a belt, but you can put a belt in it. And it's actually missing a button, but it's still sold. And it literally feels like lamb's leather. It's it does really not, soft. It does not say what kind it is, but I would almost bet money that this is lamb's leather. I would. Who's it from originally? Wilson's leather. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so super nice. And I think I'm gonna put it in a real, real dust bag because we have 10 to keep million her, of them. Keep her a little safe. My next item um, is this lovely little American Eagle top going to Debbie. So Debbie, I hope you enjoy it. It's so nice that the real, real literally oh puts everything in dust bags for you. Because they come in so handy. Like, They're look at amazing. how nice this looks now. I know. This is a garment that is taken care of. Well, and like, dust bags are kind of hard to find. Yeah. Like, we don't find them a ton when you go sourcing. I see them every now and again in the bins, and I'll pick them up. Yeah. But, like, they're hard to find just out and about. And you can't, like, buy them anywhere either. Like, I haven't seen. No. Unless it's, like, you want to pay $20 for one Louis Vuitton dust bag. That which, that's fine. Fits so perfectly in here. Oh, my God. Don't you love that? Or something just, like, fits beautifully. Yes. In a box. Oh, my gosh. I have so many labels down here. I'm getting confused. I know. I am a kind of person where, like, all my labels start to, like, all these are empty. But I can't tear them off. Go to California. Yeah. Let's say. Heck I can yeah. see that going to somebody in California. Lots Some of, little lots of my sales. Tibani. I feel like all my sales go to like Texas, Texas. or California. <laughs> okay, next up for me is an ALC t-shirt. This was a posh arbitrage. Um, this lovely little girly reached out to me on Instagram and said I'm quitting. Love the Next up for me is Wranglers. Lo oh Are my gosh, nice? Wranglers. <laughs> so she was like, everything is five dollars. Go make a bundle. And I spent ninety dollars. Um, I got some wild stuff. I got a pair of acne sweatpants for myself, and they're like dress sweatpants, so I can definitely like wear them to professional events and feel comfortable. And she sent me this ALC t-shirt as well. Well, she did send it to me. I paid for it. So I sold another free people movement item. It's these leggings. Oh, those are so cute. They're like ombre bleach dyed at the bottom. These took so long to sell for some reason, even though they had tons and tons of likes. And I almost find that that's the case with like all free people movement. Whenever I have it, it does like well based off of likes, mm -hmm. but it seems like it takes me a hot minute to sell it. I don't really know why. No, I think people are so loyal to their athletic brands. Probably. That like, cause I know me, like I love Lululemon. I hate how much it costs, <sighs> but like, sure. I, the black shorts I have on right now, I have two pairs. I wear them legitimately every single day. They are so comfortable. So like, yeah. I get it. And like, I don't want to own anything else. I want these shorts. I know how they fit. I know how they feel. They're comfortable and they wash so amazingly. I mean, mainly for athletic wear, I have Gymshark and I have Lululemon. I, I do, do, I do love both of them, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't like if I saw like a pair of men's Fabletic shorts or something that like I really liked. I would totally not be okay. against. I think that I want to the Gymshark is shorts. super nice, and I'm honestly I don't understand why it doesn't do as good as I think it should. I know because like whenever I have a pair of Fabletic leggings, I'm like, a super cute. They feel so the prints they choose are really cute. The fabric seems mm -hmm. super stretchy and comfortable and stuff. They have their fun little Fabletics like leg pockets that go down the legs. Um, they make sizes awesome. for real people versus Lululemon that makes sizes for like. <laughs> they're really cute styles and they have like little cute details. I just don't. And they're uh, more affordable. They are. I mean, you weirdly need to be like a member or something, which is why you'd think it would do super good on Posh. But like for me, it doesn't do that great. It can, like if you get high rise knockoff wonder unders, they can do oh, good. Oh, those are so good. Yeah. But like the tops do awful, which again, their tops and sweatshirts I think are super cute too. They always mm -hmm. like quirky. There's something fun to all of them. I know. Yeah. I know. I do really want to try a pair of Gymshark shorts. I had a friend, she was a power lifter. And it was like her and her boyfriend would do it together. And she was like, we used to buy Lululemon and all we wear is Gymshark because it's the same, it's the same Gymshark. fabric and it's like a third of the price. Yeah. And they're like, they have like really good sales for holidays. I think the Gymshark Black Friday sale, literally it's like $10 it's the, it's each the, or something. The 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 sale. Yeah. No, so I am looking at that. So this one I'm gonna place in a box, but I need to write a note because whenever you guys buy from me, I like to throw a note in there for you. A viewer purchased the Sweater Bomber. There were actually a couple people that asked, but one jumped on it the fastest, I guess. She said, here we go. Just can. Fabulous, she has her name as on the label. So Ooh. thank you, Just Fabulous. I think she is a Minnesotan. 
And this will be absolutely perfect. For those Minnesota. cold Minnesota seasons. Yeah. Okay, so my next item, I just shipped the Bailey 44 top, but it was really silky and really delicate. So I think it's best to get it into the bag. I love these like really distressed chaser tops. I, I find them occasionally at like consignment stores and stuff, but they just have like one really eaten shoulder and then they got another really eaten part in the back. I love these. I think they're so fun. <laughs> like the destroyed. Yeah. Factory destroyed, not distressed. Yeah. We are all out of the tiny little boxes, like the wallet boxes, which is kind of disappointing. I think they're for DVDs. Luckily we do DVD have this box. one tiny box. Yay. I at least need one. I sold the belt, a vintage belt. I think I sold like this morning. I couldn't somehow get a super good picture of this, but I thought it would do better. It's like a really cute like fisherman's belt. And oh, so it I has like that. appliques of like a lure, a fish. A it's fish. missing one here, but I mean, who cares? A basket of some trunk. sort and another fish. And I just thought this was super cute. This is the kind of like vintage belt I love picking up, like the quirky. The quirky ones. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they do super well and they're so easy to store. We have all of our belts on one of those like scarf hooks that you put behind your door. They're so amazing. Yeah. The belt, let's see. I would assume it's going somewhere with lakes because it's fishing. I'm so like, maybe Minnesota, I'm but- say like east. Like a Kentucky moment. Yeah, or like around New York. Isn't there fishing in some of those? Like upstate New York. Fish belt. Let's find out. California. Okay. Because everything I sell goes to California. Everything goes to California. Jack threw this to me in the bins. A super cute H&M Disney sweatshirt. Kids. Size, what size is this? Kids size 14. Next up for me, overrated Rothy. <laughs> so these did sell for a hundred bucks. So like, I'm not mad at that. And like, I bought them for, I think like 35. I paid up for them because they're Rothy's. But in my opinion, the like normal colored Rothy's antiques just don't do as good as everyone. No. At least they don't do as good to build up the like excitement about them. Yeah. Like I'll definitely still get them for like, if I've had them for like under 10 Oh yeah, like I would still get pumped to find them. To me, they just don't like stand out as this thing that's just like, oh, yeah. instant hunting. Like I'm not gonna cry. No, no, except if you find the crazy things, <gasps> then I totally understand the excitement. I missed an opportunity. They had the, um, like the Japanese wave print or whatever it's called on the website. And I was gonna buy them for me because they're so cute. And now they're like $500. Really? And I was like, yeah. We they were just, only like a hundred bucks, dude. They're not that expensive retail. We also just discovered this box. I don't, it's called the Regional Right Box A. I don't know if that's the only name for it. This is like the perfect, shoe box. It's perfect. Absolutely like perfect. It's a little smaller than like the medium flat rate. So it's just, oh, <laughs> random thing to get super excited about, but like, it's like my favorite size box to ship. Tell me your reseller so without telling me your reseller. Yeah. I love this new size. I this love this my priority mail <laughs> What's up next? Oh, this went to somebody on Instagram. This went to Colleen. She got it from the haul. It's this super fun, like little biker tank top. Oh yeah. With the ribbon on the, the front. Another one that I threw Ryan. It just reminded me of Harley Davidson. So. Yeah, no, it really does. 2002, wow, a year before my sister was born. So where do we think the Rothys are going? I'm guessing, I guess California, because that's where everything goes. It was like Idaho, or like Why Washington. Why don't you just be right? Joycey! Other end, of the, other end of the spectrum. So this was a Mercari sale that I didn't know I had until this morning. I was like, I, when I was printing my labels, I was like, I'm just gonna search Mercari in my email to see if there's just one I missed. And there actually was from, from yesterday. I sold this really cute Burberry Novacek purple tie that if I was like a business person, I would have kept for oh, myself. Oh, that's so cute. Like me at Poshmark, if I was someone that dressed like super classy, but there's the Burberry. It has like a few spots in the front, but they're hard to see. And you can I mean, dry clean. I was gonna say, I'm sure dry cleaning a tie is like, very Not cheap. much money. Colleen, here you go. She's on the way. Step one, done. I'll throw it in a real, real dust bag because it's designer. Where do we think this is going? I like this game of where's it going? Burberry tie, business <laughs> New York. Probably New York, yeah. New Where's York. it? Mm, or like Denver, because there's a lot of like finance on Denver. I'm gonna guess New York. Let's, let's find out. One, two, three. three. Burberry tie going to Louisiana. Interesting. Oh, okay. I can see that. Louisiana. To oh Walter. God. That makes me That's want, a very. This makes me want Popeyes so bad. Walter. That's so fitting. That's a very Louisiana name. That's thing. such a like guy that would buy a tie's name. Walter. Walter. Who's my, Walter? That was my chemistry teacher. Walter's in like a Christmas movie. Who? What dad is like named Walter? You guys are gonna comment it. Is it, um, what's that one with Chevy Chase and no, they go on the cruise? No, that's Sparky. 
Like his name is like Sparky. The dad's name is Sparky, mm -hmm. or at least the mom calls him Sparky. But... Oh, is it the one with the Red Rider BB gun? No, because I don't watch that one. Guys, let me know. What, Walter. What Christmas movie has Walter as a dad? <gasps> Wait, is it my favorite Christmas with the Cranks? Yes, yes, isn't it? Walter. This is, I can picture Jamie Lee Curtis being like, Walter. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Where they go on the cruise. That's not Chevy Chase. Who is it? Chevy Chase is National Lampoon. Isn't that the same guy? No. Is that Dan Aykroyd? No, it's Tim Allen. Yeah. It's snowing outside. I guess we're on Christmas movie. Well, it's Christmas time again. Happy Christmas. Happy holiday. <laughs> okay, another three people mini dress, but I'm gonna keep this one in the in the square that it comes in. My next sale goes to Glamma. <laughs> Mine's going to Eva. I need to Eva? write Glamma a note, of course. So I think I'll ship this once the camera's off, but she bought, oh my gosh, this thing is just, just holding this and like, this is so, it's so nice. Cute. She is a little coach fan. She too. bought she loves it. the Made in United States vintage okay. coach, which like we said, Made in US is like the second best kind of coach to find. And then Made in New York City is the primo best. I was just out of curiosity looking up how much the Made in New York stuff goes for, and people sell them for like three fifty to five hundred. For a lot. Oh my gosh, this leather. Oh, so nice. I have a bundle, and this is gonna be check out a little bit. L.A. Hearts, which is just like a Paxson moment. Cute little like strip of bomber. I like picking the Paxson stuff up in the bins, or if I can get it for really cheap at a Goodwill, because yeah. I think like Paxson. It's, I always forget how expensive stuff is retail. Because I don't ever buy anything retail anymore. I know. But it's like actually really expensive. And if I buy retail, I'm in the like deep, deep clearance section. Yeah, well, ugh. <laughs> I hate it. So I needed new shorts the other week. And me was like, okay, where can I go? I just want to buy like two pairs of shorts. I never want to have to replace them. And I went to a gold. Because I love my gold jeans. But like, did I spend $140 on a pair of pants? Probably. Ryan told me he ordered a pair of shorts for $150. <laughs> and I, I was almost like... Angered. And then I, I was, was just from... like, what? I yes. almost like spit out my drink. I was like, and then I found a pair of Posh for 60. So might be returning the ones. Yeah. I so, hope they fit. This was in the last Bolo video we did, Rococo Sand. For some reason on Posh, I titled my listing Rococo Swim, even though I sure Oops. as heck know what the name of the brand is. It's the most gorgeous star print maxi dress it's missing two buttons at the top which like isn't a big deal and i think it also has extra buttons in it i could have just put it on myself but i mean mm -hmm. it's still sold for 200 dollars. i had it listed for i think 350 because like okay rococo swim sand now i'm gonna mess it up it's so expensive, so expensive. It's so expensive. and like super super popular with like bloggers and stuff and i probably will write this lady a note because she spent 200 dollars in my store so again i'm not going to take this shut yet Ooh. where do we think it's going rococo sand um this would be a, a fair guess california yeah i'm gonna say california or like no not hawaii probably like florida How or california eaten? I'm gonna say Hawaii. Watch it if it's, or, like, if it's like Wisconsin California. or something. I'm There's a girl in Utah. California. Yeah. I knew it. Okay, so the last, well, I didn't show you California. <laughs> okay, so we have this really cute little nasty gal top. I like picking up nasty gal, but like it doesn't retail for a ton, so I definitely don't want to pay a ton for it. But this one was new with tags, it was super cute. It's just a little wrap top, and then she got these super fun little earrings. Look at how cute these are. Should I do the beauty influencer? This item came from one of our good friends in Minnesota who we see at the bins all the time. She like, sometimes I think watches our videos. So in case she's here, hello, Kristen. Hi, girly, how are you? Um, doing? Kristen, she handed me this and Kristen she's and like, Jordan. oh, this is a anthro brand and I had never heard of it. Um, but she didn't want to get it because it's pretty dirty on the inside, but I was luckily still able to sell it. It's called Lucky Penny. Which I would have seen this and I probably would have assumed it's like anthro or something. It's really cute. But it's yeah, it's like has a little like penny loafer slot on the inside and it's like super nice leather. I know, I love the green too. I feel like I never see this kind of color yeah. anymore. And it's another one that deserves a yeah. real real dust bag. Especially like with leathers and oh, stuff. Speaking of which will you hand me one of those when you get them in it? Yeah, know. with leathers and stuff, I really keep, like to keep them protected as good as possible. Yeah. And I think it just makes it look a little bit more professional when you get it. Yeah, and like with like, a bag. Some people like genuinely really like to store their clothes, even sometimes shoes, in dust bags. So I do. all my purses live in dust bags. Most of mine do too. Yeah, that'll be handy for them if that's what, if they like wanted one. I know. Do we have any more of those the little shoe boxes? Ellie, E L I. Oh, is that the Eli or Ellie that bought from me? 
yeah. last week. She, they, excuse me, got this adorable little Kate Spade purse for their mom. It's a birthday present. Really? And it's this, yeah, it's Cute. this new without tag, little Kate Spade, Cute. like, satchel. I think this is adorable. Right. I got this at a Play-Doh's in Minnesota, and this Play-Doh's is, like, one of those ones that's notorious for just being, like, <laughs> not scary, but just, like, <laughs> the pricing is a little 2009, yeah. if you know what I mean. Um, so we go, because I had some stuff to drop off, or we were just over at our favorite consignment store that's right over there. And the girl at the register is like, oh, you have a half-off coupon. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Thinking it's just going to be like how it should be, which is like half-off of one item. And homegirl takes half-off of everything. Oh, yeah. Thank so you. instinctively, I ran around the store. I was like, oh, okay, let me go grab some more stuff. And I, oh my God, I think I got like, I spent like $150. And it was I mean, all unless like, it was supposed to be half-off. I don't know. She just randomly was like, oh, you, you have, have a half-off. Off, and then she gave it to me and then Jack and then Debbie who was yeah. with us and so I, everybody got like a ton of really good stuff I, it's confusing it doesn't run like normal Play-Dohs like no it's it weird. doesn't have the like seasonal sales it doesn't have like they have like bins of clearance uh, it's weird it's, it's a little funky not the average Play-Dohs closet no it in the slightest not. they also like buy nothing from you and they pay you if you get mad about Play-Dohs not giving you much money this one is to the nth <laughs> degree don't like, go to the they give you Play-Dohs no yeah. they literally don't it's just like the stuff that they do price high i'm like for what it's like, like lulu they price lulu <sighs> super high. i think that's just corporate though because the one that i used to work at is now pricing lululemon leggings at 40 dollars, which that's crazy to me that's wild 40 dollars for a used pair of leggings like at a play-doh's closet next up for me is a hat and this hat. is urban outfitters which I'm I can so like never sell. It's Ecote and it was actually new with Tag and this is from like a thrift store. It's from our favorite one that we do in literally every single thrift with us. But I was super excited to find this. I honestly like love selling hats. They're I so easy to store. Berets and hats and all that kind of stuff. I am a big fan. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Plato's Closet, one of our videos coming up in the next two months has something to do with Plato's Closet. Because like we said, Ryan used to be an employee. Oh, intense. I don't ever want to go back. Everybody, sometimes they're like, would you ever work retail again? And my answer is no. I <gasps> Urban Outfitters hat going to Iowa. Woo! Fort Wait. Dodge. Oh. Where is that? Um, Fort Dodge is it's a military base oh. in Iowa. I remember they would always take us to Camp Fort Dodge on like field trips and stuff. And me being the person I am now as a child was like, I'm not doing any of this. I'm not doing any of the physical activity. They wanted us to do a rope course one time. And Oops. I remember I was like, I'm not gonna do this. Like I can't do that. Like not gonna happen. There's a gay little kid. <laughs> I hate wasting a box on just a hat, but like these brimmed hats, I don't want to smash them. So I have yeah. to, unfortunately. But also it's so weird then because you have this huge box that's just like, it feels like Is there's it nothing. nothing? It. it feels like a prop. It feels like those um like pranks people do where they tape boxes together, but there's like a wire that goes through them. So they like, oh, yeah. And they like, <laughs> they throw it at people. Next up is a pair of Madewell shoes. I got these at a, one of our other favorite Play-Dohs, like sister stores. I got these at a style. Yeah. Um, they were made well. I got them because they were only like nine. They were seven or nine dollars, which like I think it's because like they're suede and they definitely do have a little bit of wear on the toes. But like this part doesn't look worn and like the bottom doesn't look super worn to me. Yeah. Um, but they only sold for twenty dollars. I've had them for how Maybe many likes? Just doesn't do have? this good anymore. These had so many likes. They still have thirty nine. Wow. Which is crazy my next item is a home item and actually Yay. if any of you guys are looking for home stuff Please buy it. for the I'm rest so of the day today or at least at some point today i'm going to be listing some of our home stuff because again broken record but like we, we said we're moving we, and so we're actually listing some of our like cute home stuff that we're not going to be keeping like we've got some anthro home stuff mm -hmm, just definitely. some like cutesy little like decor and stuff we had around the house we're like why donate it if we could possibly <laughs> sell I, it? and i also don't want to pay to keep it in storage unit for years. yeah yeah i know and Unfortunately, it's stuff that we wouldn't get rid of if we didn't have to. But like, yeah. since we're moving to a smaller space, we need to. Okay, I'm gonna take a like this. Of this. My cute little bonsai tree. Fake. And then actually, wow, this is already my last, not already, I guess it's been 40 minutes. My last sale is my sale that was on Tradesy. And it's this pair of Stuart Weitzman, super cute, almost like, they remind me of like what you'd wear like with like a robe at night or something. These like cute, fur detailed embellished sandals 
And yeah, they sold on Trade Z for about 200 bucks. And so actually I need to find a box for them because Trade Z does give you priority mail labels, but it's mm -hmm. not one where you can use like flat rate boxes. You gotta use the brown one. I am gonna need to find a box for that. And then the bonsai, I'm gonna need to wrap it up really well because it has a ceramic base. Okay, so my next one that I'm shipping is, I held out for this and I knew in my heart of hearts that I would make this much money out of this. So it's a jumpsuit. It is a pink corduroy jumpsuit that came from this blogger in Des Moines because my sister bought this. She works at the Sci Encore in Des Moines and she was like, this just came in, you should get it. And I was like, okay. Um, I paid, th it was 30 or $32, which I was more than willing to pay for it. Um, I sold it for 110. I had it listed at 160, thinking that I would sell it in the like one to 125 range. I was right. And I am obsessed with this. It's so cute. The pink boiler suit. Yeah. And was it this spring or was it last fall that boiler suits are like having a moment? I think it was last fall. But it does not fit in a mailer, so I have to put it in a box. Bonsai tree, going to California. Of Yay. course. Because everything is. Oh, they I could just They could just load all my stuff on one truck and just go right to California. And just take to California. <laughs> I remember one of my favorite things to do in Des Moines is to go to the bonsai garden at the botanical center that it's so literally i so love pretty. bonsai trees. it is this is also the perfect example of how um i'm a very slow person in general <laughs> I, I, I do things very yeah. i do things very slowly and very meticulous not even meticulously no i was gonna say my last sale for the day well i lied i have two more but this is not something you're gonna see um somebody bought this on instagram look at how fun this is cute salty so this is going to her posh name is the naked lady which just makes <gasps> me judy Judy. Judy, Judy. Where is she? Fab Judy. Oh, there she is. Judy is so nice. She's a funny I lady. I think Judy bought from Debbie. Yeah, she did. She is So, fab. Judy's contributing to she all the, the Valentine's. very fabulous. Prosper. We love Judy. Okay, Judy, it's on the way. Judith? We need another one. So, this was a longer than usual ship with us. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think you guys usually do like our ship with I us I hope you videos. got some shipping done. I hope, yeah, I hope you do. Maybe we're keeping company while you ship or list or whatever. I'm sure that's what you did with the live as well. You got work done while we just chit chatted. That is okay. all that we have for you guys today. So thank you so much for joining us. And we will see you on Thursday with a chuckle. Is what I'll oh, say. it's gonna be fun. Yes. I'm excited for Thursday. So we're excited for Thursday, and I hope you guys are too. Very excited. You'll be laughing, I assume. So thank you guys for joining us today. We'll see, see you Thursday. in two days. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.